Yes, that was a knee to the face. What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Traded. I'm here with my two childhood friends, Ken and Pierre. Today we're gonna do some sparring, including two versus one. If you like this video, like and share. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you said the wrong thing! So to give you guys a little background on Kent and Pierre, they may or may not have experience fighting in the streets. Kent also wrestled in high school, and I've also taught them a few things in the past. But besides that, they both have never been formally trained in martial arts. So here's strategy one. Put one opponent in between you and the second opponent to set up a friendly fire. Just kidding, this was purely by accident. Here's an actual strategy that I planned out. Faint to the right, but punch left at the guy with the crazy hair. Okay. Thank God Pierre only used 5% of his power and strength on me because I'm pretty sure he's knocked out people with those hands before. This round was no takedowns, so since I fell, we reset. I'm telling you, it's so hard fighting two people at once. Try to never put yourself in between two opponents because when you look one direction to punch, you get hit in the other direction. There's a lot of running and circling involved in order to have your eyes on both targets. So here again, I got surrounded by the two, I ate a punch here, and then I got kicked from behind. Strategy 3. Keep one guy away to stall some time for you to take out the other guy. Unfortunately, it backfired because I ended up in between and surrounded by the two. Strategy 4. Hope that one guy gasses out and leaves his friend hanging, which is exactly what happened here. The moral of the story, never fight in the streets and never fight two opponents at once no matter how long you've been training or how good you are. Round 4. Probably my worst round. Round 5. New rule. Pierre and Kent are not allowed to hit me at the exact same time. I know it's pretty crazy watching this, but be sure to watch it a little longer for some one-on-one -on -one and more technical, cleaner sparring. If one guy falls to the ground, take advantage of the situation and quickly go for the kill on the other guy. Here's a typical strategy from the two. One guy catches my kick and the other guy punches. They got me here again with the same tactic. Pierre bails out. Game over now, Kent. Now, some one on one sparring. Time for my revenge. Oh, 
It's like every time I try to fake, you can read it. I'm like, I can't, I can't do it. You're halfway. I have to give, pay him back. Yes, yes, Pierre. Fuck Jeff up. Fuck him up. Yes, there we go. There we go. Oh. Yo, Jeff, pick someone on your own side, huh, Jeff? Fuck <laughs> Oh. Oh. Come on, Pierre. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh shit. Shout. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. E. Bro. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, nice. Come on, to tell me. Jump in right away, yeah. <laughs> 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 Grab him, grab him. <laughs> <laughs> Hercules, come here. <laughs> Watch your heads, guys. <laughs> It's okay. You're not gonna tap me? I know this video was a bit different from my usual content, but if you guys enjoyed this two on one and want to see more, or if you guys have any other suggestions, please let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Oh my god! Oh. I felt that.